Book of Monkey Mischief Classroom, a uh, little helpful tip that I wanted to give you guys for when you're working on reading activities, um, especially if it's kind of like a meatier story because, um, you know, you you want a little bit more out of the student and want some details, um, and you're, you know, working on being able to provide details, is um, in class when we do have those longer stories, uh, I like to divide up the stories into parts and um, whether it's chapters, we do it by chapter. If it doesn't have chapters, I create a beginning, um, two middles, and then an end. Um, and what I like to do is uh, we read kind of one page at a time and talk about what is happening. So majority of the talking will probably be done by the adult, um, providing sentence frames so that it helps the student to answer the questions, and then just jotting down everything the child is saying. And this way, when we go on to the next page, we kind of reference what we've already talked about. Then we go on to the next page. We talk about that page, jot down, uh, everything that was said then you again reference the first page then the next page until you know that particular uh, section of reading is done um, this constant going back and uh, referencing and providing sentence frames helps with memory retention and helps student recall better so um, because of that memory ret retention working um, so it helps the student to recall and so by the time they get to the end of the story they'll have um, a pretty good understanding of what's happened prior to the end of the story um, again each time that you go uh, back to a story you always have to do kind of like a recall of what's already been um, read because uh, chances are they're not going to remember um, so that constant repetition will then help with that um, if you need any guidance with sentence frames to ask um, I will put um, some s sentence frames in the Google Classroom I do have some already uploaded um, for uh, Q and, um, QAR um, already but I can add more basic ones um, and you could use that with you know if they have a device or a picture book to um, answer to they don't need to be verbal in order to respond hope that helps